everybody, welcome back to the channel. A little bit different type of video this go around. Normally we're blowing all the stuff off of a car, make it look factory fresh and brand new. Unfortunately, not every car is in that kind of situation. With every project, we sit down with the, with the client and determine what the plan is. On this Lancia Delta Integrale, we, we knew we had a bit of corrosion that someone had covered up. And so our client really wanted to uh, get all of that off and, and really dig into the situation so he can make a mechanical assessment and get the car ready for some refurbishment. I'll talk you through this video and kind of show you what we're doing and what we're encountering through the process. Hope you liked it. Let us know in the comments, thanks. So let's get it up on the lift and let's take a look. So as we take a stroll under the car, you can see everything's black, everything's covered. And uh, you know, the client and I knew that there was a bunch of stuff that this is covering up. This car actually came out of Japan. Let's start at the back of the car. Here we're working on the rear differential and you can see that the, uh, the black substance, which is probably a tar-based undercoat, is coming off really well and it's really preserved the aluminum of the differential cover itself. The video here is at 20 times speed, so we're really speeding it up so you can see the dramatic change. But in reality, this is a pretty tedious process. I wanted to show you that dry ice isn't the only thing we use. We do quite a bit of handwork. Here we're stripping off all the dirt and debris with the dry ice first. Then we come along with OSFO and steel wool and we really polish up this, uh, this exhaust system to make it look like factory new. Notice the shield above the exhaust has some black on it. Uh, there was actually spray paint in addition to the tar undercoating here, so we tried to do our best to get as much of that spray paint off. You can see this oil pan is in really rough shape. It's covered in oil and grease, and it's rusty underneath the paint. Notice the dry ice won't cut through the grease, so I spray a little bit of degreaser spray and manually try to clean this and then go back after it with the dry ice afterward. The customer actually has a new pan that he's going to install, but my goal was to try to see how clean we could get it. These lower suspension braces are really interesting. Notice the yellow paint is actually a primer. They're actually painted silver with a black spray paint on top of that. Just like the rear differential, the front differentials clean up really nice. The undercoat has preserved the aluminum finish. If you're curious about the aluminum foil, what we use that for is to protect from overspray. Here we're protecting some plastic surfaces along with the undercoating on the body that we did not want to disturb. As we look at the car in its finished state, it's not as pretty as we'd like it to be, but all of it is clean. All of the undercoating is off the hard parts that the client wanted to remove. You can assess and address the mechanical condition of the Slancia. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.